All right, here's another how-to video. When we're looking right here, we look at the shower head. So this is a pretty old shower head, as you can see, even after it's been like cleaned out and stuff. So we're gonna switch this shower head. But also, you're gonna see here when I turn this on, I'm gonna turn this over here because I don't wanna get wet. When I turn this on, we're gonna see here how it looks. So you see here, looking at this, it's going, in a little loopy direction here like it's not even going as good as it used to be so we're going to switch this uh this actual shower head out and i'll show you step by step real quick video just like the other one all right so before i remove the old head these are the supplies that you need technically you don't need a screwdriver but if it's too hard for you to actually take it out or push it back in after you screw it all the way the screwdriver helps to get it nice and secure we got some plumber's tape right here. Got this wrench and the shower head. So now we're gonna start removing the old shower head. Let me go right over here at the very top, right there, as you can see. And I guess I'm going to actually need the wrench now. All right, so I kind of changed the uh, wrench and all that that I had because it was a little too small to fit. So now we're going to actually go counterclockwise. Oh, you saw that that was moving. We're going to go counterclockwise here. And that should make it loose enough. Just that little turn right there because it was really tight and secure as you could see. Um, puts it straight in. So I had to use this to take it out. But before when I installed this one, it was nice and secure. So I still needed the wrench to take that out. Almost out of here. Slowly but surely. Boom. It's out. And you can see all the rust inside, everything. This is an old shower head. So that's all good right there. Now we're going to move on to the next phase. So, next phase here, we're going to try to remove some of this old plumber's tape. As you can see, we got a line right here. And we're just wrapping around removing that old tape because it's been there for quite a few years. And we're going to get some new tape on here at the next step. So now that we're done with the old plumber's tape, we're going to take this new tape and then we're going to wrap this around a little bit. take the tape like that and we're gonna go right about here and then we're gonna wrap it's kind of hard recording this and doing this with the other hand as you can see but we're gonna wrap it so I got the first wrap in there then we're gonna go with the second wrap right over there and of course, one more lap, usually a third loop, kind of in between the first and the second. Right there, just like that. And then we're going to break it off. So don't make the mistake that I did and make the roll accidentally roll over, so I had to cut off a little bit. And now I'm going to pretty much break that off like I did. We see that's nice and secure. With the new tape on there good and now i'm going to get the shower head and now here's where the big moment's coming we're almost done with installing so you get the shower head right here you screw it in screw it in and this big shower head i got has like 10 different settings so i'm looking forward to actually giving it a try and enjoying all 10 features so we still turn it all the way till we can't anymore. And now the only thing we're going to do, just like in the very beginning, we're going to use the actual wrench to actually tighten this. And when I turned, I pretty much turned, it was going in a clockwise motion. Um, counterclockwise will make it loose. So remember that. So you want to go clockwise to turn it in, counterclockwise to turn it out. So I'm going to grab 
these here and now I'm going to grab it right here and then we're going to go clockwise. And it's nice and secure so now we're going to see how this works. The end result is coming now. All right, so I'm turning this on. And we're going to see here after installing if it works. And maybe we're on the wrong setting here. It doesn't seem to be working. Huh. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I said the final result was about to start, but I realized after giving this a go that it didn't work because that washer was actually in the old shower head, but it got sunk on there. So I need to take that out. That way, this actually works and the water can actually regulate through because this is not making it go through. So I'm going to squeeze this guy out. Squeezing it out just like that. And then I'm going to grab it. Also. Almost. And boom. So now we're going to try it right, again. So second attempt now. After this has been screwed in all the way. Even turned with the wrench. I took out that washer. Now let's see here if it works. I'm going to turn it this way so I don't get splashed. Water's going. I turn it on. Oh, it works! It works! Just like that, we install it and then we're going to change the settings here. Just a flick of the switch here. Look at that, just like that. So there's the pause. There's that. Then that setting. And that setting. And that setting. There's that one. Boom. Just like that. And that's a soft pause. Looks like. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you install the shower. So we are all set here. So if there's any questions. Feel free to let me know or personally message me. Alright, that's it.